If y'all take about like an hour and a half in the shower, you're gonna come out with a full face of makeup. So, baby, don't let me go, babe. Baby, don't, don't say no, babe. show you guys how to achieve this well obviously I don't have it on my head right now but I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a good high puff in your hair without using a breakage elastic band that I hate seeing people use and how to make this go to in a how to make this get into a big puff like I do to make sure to make it look like I have a lot of hair which I don't I'm bald headed just to make it seem like I got a lot of hair I'm going to show you guys how I put my hair into a puff using these cool hair ties I have called Snappies. While I was doing my makeup, my hair got super damp. It kind of dried out a little bit, so I'm going to go in and spray my hair with water mixed with castor oil and conditioner. Next, I'm going to take my wet brush and I'm just going to go ahead and brush my hair upwards. Don't be afraid to actually brush at the ends of your hair because later in the video we're going to make them very curly. The hair fully, I'm going to add in some of my As I Am leave-in conditioner. I think that's the key ingredient in this hairstyle is keeping leave-in conditioner and having moisture into your hair throughout the day while your hair is put up into this puff. One hand to smooth out the front and one hand to smooth out the back. So this hand is going to be the one that gels down the front and then the back is the other hand. Now I'm going to go in with the hard bristle brush, I guess is what it's called, and just smooth out the top and the back. It is so important to smooth out the back. Now that I see that, I, oh, okay, actually, never mind. So this is what I'm looking like right now. It's kind of crazy. I have these hair ties, they're called snappies. And what it is, it's a hair tie that will not pull or break your hair off like a normal hair tie will. And it's kind of self-explanatory, it's a snappy. So at the ends of it, it has two little buttons that you press together, that snap together. And you can create your ponytail or puff from unattaching it, or if you just want it to be a regular hair tie, you just put your hair through the loop like all any type of hair tie but instead of pulling it out of your hair you're just going to unsnap it so it doesn't pull it out so i'm going to attach two of these snappies together one's brown and one's black i know kind of mix match mix match but they have all different colors and i'm going to set this to the side real quick and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take just the back section kind of like this i'm just going to hold my hair like this not grabbing all of it, but I'm going to put one of the ends of the snappies under my index finger. And since I'm using two, it's gonna allow me to have more of a hair tie type thing. So I'm just gonna wrap this around, whoop, hold on. So I'm just going to wrap this around my head 
keeping my index finger on the other part until the sex this button comes to my right eyebrow then I'm gonna take this and then meet it up with the other button and just snap it together so now you have a puff that's not going to be pulling your hair it's gonna let your hair breathe a little bit while it's looking cute and you can take it off easily just by unsnapping it and unraveling it and your hair is down so to make my hair really curly on the top what I do is I take a pick and I'm just going to make sure that this hair is as pushed out as it can get so that I can get all the volume. So I'm just lifting the roots. So now I'm going to be adding like so many hair products in this, but it's going to be worth it. First, I'm going to be putting my Miss Pompadour Smoothing Serum in my hair just to make sure that my hair is not going to be frizzy. So what I do, I just rub it in my hair like this and then put it right on top. It looks like I actually missed a piece. I'm gonna take my As I Am Hydration Elation Cream. And what this cream is, it's kind of like a moisturizing cream. You're supposed to leave it on your head for about five to 10 minutes and wash it out, but I never follow the rules when it comes to hair stuff. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on top. Not too much because it says to rinse it out and I don't wanna ruin my hair, but I'm gonna use about this much. I don't know if you can see this. Just not even a tablespoon if we're gonna measure it. Ooh. Rub it in my hair and, and then put it on the top of my hair. This, well, one of the last steps of this big puff, I use this Tresemme Flawless Curls Conditioner. And I'm a big fan of leaving conditioner in my hair just to have it conditioned a little bit more. And now I'm just gonna put that on my curls. And what this conditioner is going to do is allow my curls to form and it's gonna make them look soft and feel soft at the same time. Going north, going north, going north.